They'll be calling you a radical. All nuclear fighters, all hands on deck, all hands on deck, all hands on deck. This is the way they play. This is the Yellow Journal. This is, if you're an anti-nuclear fighter and you don't take offense to this and you don't go crazy, this is the game they play. This is how they're working right now. This article put out by Nigel and all you people in the Northwest, he claims to be up there. And the reason they used him, the National Review put this out and they're like, why would they do, here's how it works. Let me tell you how they're playing. This is right out of the Chernobyl playbook. He puts this article out, the National Review posts this article, okay? Then they come back and say, oh, it was all a scam, it was all a sham. Look what these anti-nukers do. Call this punk out, not next time. This photograph he's using of the Wells was taken in New Zealand, 2010. I've confirmed it all. This is the power of our little army. Do not put up with this shit. You attack this guy, the National Review. This is pure yellow journalism. This is how they play. This is black and unit journalism. This is out of the Chernobyl playbook. They repost this, and then the nuclear other side, which I'm sure he took probably $1,000 in cash by these guys to do this. And the National Review, who plays it, and if you don't believe me, the Republican Party is so hardcore nuclear. Think about this. As the confirmation hurries on Gina McCarthy is when this all should have poured out. The two-party system, that's the way it works. The ranking Republican, David Vitter, didn't even show up. Gina McCarthy, head of Radnet, and if you don't know what Radnet is, look it up. And all you people that are watching these videos, and I know I have software, I know who's in here. I know all you television producers are watching these videos of Jan and I. I know for a fact all of you freaking television, I know all of you are. You know what? You're not gonna get away with this saying, oh, why this? And let me say this about this bullshit ice wall. It's again, it's a diversionary tactic. It's bullshit. What a joke. It's something out of a cartoon. These are cartoon characters. This is a fucking joke. This thing's been Pacific Point in the Pacific all the, the whole time. Remember, remember, TEPCO's press conference themselves just recently. Themselves, TEPCO themselves. Is, it's been pouring in the Pacific the whole time. They say it. How do you regurgitate this like this? 12, 12, 12, they came out in the hearings in Japan. There were hearings. They freaking tried to bring prosecution against these people. The United States stepped in and sparked the prosecution. They said themselves, we've been dumping since April 3rd. Just like I reported in the videos of mine. It's like somebody says, oh, Kevin, I, I resubscribed to you because I thought you were over the top. I understand, I understand. Because you've been so postured and groomed about people over the top because of the Alex Joneses, the Sean Hannity's, the freaking whatever that fat Limbaugh slob creep is. You know, KSL used to play these guys right here four hours a day in the name of Christianity. The Mormons, the evangelicals are devils. Don't you understand they are devils? As all atheists, what atheist doesn't love Jesus Christ? Everybody loves his philosophy. How can you not love? He's the opposite of what these people were. He's up now, was he the son of God? I surely don't know, but how can you have, you know, Joe, oh, Jesus died so I could be rich. Love them for, they know not what they, there's the people killing him. Why do you think they killed him? Because he flew in the face of contemporary culture and he stood up for the truth. Just like Manning has, just like Assange has, just like Snowden has, and look what we do. This, this country has turned into a freaking asymmetric to anything righteous. And the National Review, you yellow journalistic fucking whores. You think you're gonna pull this? We're smarter than you fucking dumb, ignorant fuck. You know, granted, the American populace, you play them like a fiddle because they're pathetic sheep. We get that. I understand that. Have they always been pathetic sheep? To a certain level. But we had leaders who stood up in a real way. That's why we're walking down to Hamilton's grave. That's where we're going. Leaders like him who understood that it was terrorists to protect our people. They did it in a righteous way. Not fake Christianity in hairspray. Jesus died so I could bring. And I love how all you people buy into all these so-called religions. Organized religion is the root of all evil. All you anti-nukers, this is a big deal. This is a big deal. Here's, like I said, they play it out like this. By the way, this made the, the New York Times actually made the front page today. Wow, 900 something days. And I love Abe over there. He comes out and says, we're going to use swift action. Really, really, swift action? 906 fucking days later? This has been foreign Pacific the whole time. This is the greatest cover up in history as Troy's called it out in detail, as Shane's called it out, I've called it out, Plume Gate, 311, whatever you want to call it. I call it the Pacific Genocide, whatever. It's fucking giant conspiratorial across all demographics. Marine biologists who have tags and titles and who do nothing. May God have mercy on all of your souls. You don't call this article out. 
Here's what they're doing to us. They get this Nigel punk and they pay this punk and he's gonna say, oh, I'm just using sarcasm. Oh, that fucker ever crosses me, you punk motherfucker. Let me tell you something. He puts it out. Then the nuclear so-called their grandstand machine comes out and demands it be pulled down. Then they repost it, the National Review, who they're playing. And then they'll come out, and here's how it'll play for. Oh, it was a scam. See how these anti-nuclears play. Oh no, not this time, fuckers. See how we play, motherfucker. We don't play. This is a fucking war. Until you people wake up and realize this is a fucking war fought with intelligence, like Hamilton and Jefferson. Walmart is the new East India Company. That's what all this is. This basically comes down to the Hamiltonian and Jefferson philosophy and Washington, the exception of this country, as the Queen says jump and the President, Obama, even John Kerry, who I've always had respect for because he wasn't flying a plane like McCain over the thing and crashing 900 times. I always had respect. He was there on the ground. So is Hegel. The Queen says jump. They say how high. Bush tells us, jump how high. This is American colonialism. As remember when England burned down the White House in 1814? Remember when they assassinated McKinley? People can argue with me all they fucking want. I will quote Franklin Roosevelt to Churchill. I gotta tell you, Churchill, I went to England when I was nine years old. I saw Queen Victoria. I hated the old witch. I hate everything you people stand for. Churchill says, choking on a cigar. About her. You, you're flying in the face of everything the Queen and Old England stands for, but I know if we don't go with you, we're done. Well, they took that inbred family out. They took all those people out. By the way, right here in this town is how it started. I can explain that. They left one standing by default. And you keep Queen. The Queen says, jump. What is the anti Queen? The anti. What founded this country? What was the foundation of this country? Tariffs. We must empower our people and I could fold this all into nuclear. And I will when we're in I will when we're in Manhattan when we walk down our peaceful. Leave your guns and your drums and your one line bullshit slogans. Bring your logic. Stay untuned.